Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, I watched the film the other night and it's uh, a film that attracted me simply because of the main actor was uh, Paul Walker. I thought because the guy's not going to make any more films unfortunately, I thought I'd give it a go and watch it at least and see what it was all about. Simply because I am a fan of Paul Walker and also for the fact that um, like I said, the guy's not going to make any more films, which is a bit unfortunate. The film in question is called The Pawn Shop Chronicles. It is a 2013 film, and uh, not only does it star Paul Walker, but it's also got Norma Reedus, Brendan Fraser, Matt Dillon, Elijah Wood, you've got Chi McBride, Thomas Jane, and also appearance from Ashley Simpson. So, like I've mentioned, it's uh, one of Paul Walker's last films. Um, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, I love everything that he's done. Uh, especially the Fast and Furious movies and uh, the film also has Norman Reedus and I'm a fan of his simply from what he's done with The Walking Dead however with The Pawn Shop Chronicles I am a bit disappointed I'm not gonna lie this film review may have spoilers so you are being warned now I have said that I'm, I wasn't very impressed due to the fact really that Paul Walker plays a meth head he's uh, twitching all the time he's after drugs he's planning on um, robbing someone Therefore, he needs a shotgun that has just been pawned. Uh, he looks dirty. He looks drugged up. He looks like he, uh, he is a shell of his former self. Um, as a fan, I was disappointed to see the character he has played. And also, he is in it for about ten minutes. Literally. It's not a very long part that he's in. The film then branches off into uh, Brendan Fraser and Matt Dillon's part in the film. I understand uh, the meaning of Chronicle doesn't just mean one base. It means that there are several different films put into one larger film. However, I think it would have been better if Paul Walker's character um, had actually stretched all the way through the film, not just ten minutes uh, of scratching a beard, looking like a crackhead, uh, being a complete idiot and being really dirty. Um, I don't want to slag the guy off because I'm a fan and I think his life was taken tragically very early. But this is not a good film if you're a fan of his. He does die in the film and uh, it's kind of down to Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus is a meth cook. He is cooking up a batch of meth and uh, Paul Walker goes in to try and take the meth. However, there are a uh, battle ensuing between them explosions happened and you never see Paul Walker or Norman Reedus again. <clears throat> that was a downfall really. The only reason why I watched it was simply because the main cast was Paul Walker and Norman Reedus. That was about it. Brendan Fraser has never been great of an actor. Matt Dillon isn't and Elijah Wood is a little hobbit shithead. So to be honest, um, as a fan of Paul Walker I was disappointed. His part lasted probably 10-15 minutes. He scratches his beard and looks really dirty. Um, as a fan, I was disappointed. Um, so yeah, guys, that was my review of The Pawn Shop Chronicles slash spoiler slash rant. Um, I'm a fan of Paul Walker. However, this film is not very good. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you are a fan of Paul Walker, you are probably going to be disappointed like me. Also guys, we the devoted links are down below as per usual, go check them out, I wear the gear all the time, love the gear, what they do, there are new items coming very very soon so keep your eyes peeled for them, use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any we the devoted gear, links down below as per usual. Well guys, thanks for watching my review of uh, the Pawn Shop Chronicles, hope you enjoy it, thanks for watching.